Welcome guys, welcome to a new Let's Play. This is of course, Diddy Kong Racing. Now this was a fairly early title for the Nintendo 64 from what I remember correctly. I think it takes place even before Banjo-Kazooie if I remember right. Alright, uh... I'm gonna turn down the music and sound effects down just a little, so it's not at max volume. It took me quite a while to get the sound balance perfectly. Even now, it's probably not perfect. The game is kind of loud, but I had to... Rather than trying to lower the game audio, it was better to just raise my voice a little bit. I couldn't really get a healthy medium for it, but hopefully this will turn out okay. Alright, so let's get right into it. So, there's a whole bunch of characters that you can pick. The series of... Naturally, this is Diddy Kong, Donkey Kong's uh, partner from Donkey Kong Country. This guy is Crunch, he's a Kremlin. This guy you usually don't unlock until later, but because I've already unlocked him, he's available, obviously. His name's Drumstick. Of course, there's Banjo, but he's not accompanied by Kazooie in this game. This guy is called Timber, he's the owner of the island that we'll be racing on. There's good old Conker. And of course, Tip Top, which we would also see in Banjo, Kazooie, and Tooie. Now, just like last time we recorded this game, we're gonna play as, of course, as Banjo. I mean, why not? He's cool. I'm Banjo. Yeah. Now, um, each racer has d different attributes attributes that affect their kart racing abilities. Like Diddy and Timber, I'm pretty sure are pretty well balanced characters, like speed and acceleration wise. I think Pipsy and Tip Top have high acceleration but low max speed, while Banjo and Crunch are like the opposite. We're like. They have good max speed, but poor acceleration. Anyway, let's go ahead and pick Banjo. I'm Banjo! Yahoo! Yahoo! Please not change Rumble Pack, but I don't have any of those equipped. So it doesn't matter. Let's start a new adventure. Adventure 2 is basically... It's basically mirror mode, where you play the entire game again, but with all the, all the tracks reversed. Alright, so we're gonna start a new game. Call the file K-A-L. Here we go. Ugh, look at that ugly mug. Got an got a Hindu elephant genie man. I am the genie of the island. I'm here to help you. Good luck. I 
Thank you. Come again. So anyway, the basic plot to this game is the evil Whizpick has basically taken over the island and he's like terrorizing all the inhabitants. And it's up to Diddy and his friends to stop them. But I'm pretty sure that this island actually belongs to Timber, the, the, the driver. So we're going to help him out if we can. Hello, friend. Uh, change my vehicle, please. Vehicle. We're going to change to a plane for now. Abracadabra. Abracadabra. Can I help you further? Bye bye for now. Thank you. Now, what we need to be collecting in this game are these balloons. Oops, that didn't work at all. These balloons are required to open up the, the different races and stuff. So there's one right here. And I missed it again. Apparently grabbing balloons is hard. Come on, Banjo. We can do this. It's just grabbing a balloon. There we go. That wasn't so hard, was it? I think there's four total that we can get here in the, hub, the main hub or the island. I think there's another behind here. Maybe I remember it wrong. I know there's one back here. Come on, get that balloon. Or, you know, just pass it entirely. There we go. That's two acquired. <clears throat> That's weird. I could have sworn that third balloon was around here somewhere. Perhaps I'm just mistaken. I'm not sure where it is at the moment. That's all right, though. And then there's a third. There's one here, but I'm pretty sure there's a fourth and final one somewhere that we have to get. It'll go come back to me eventually, I guess. All right. So for the time being, let's enter the first hub world of the game. Dino Domain. Welcome to the Dino Domain hub world. Hey there, TT. You can ask me about your game status or select my time trial mode to practice a level. I can also save your best ghosts. I'm good for now, TT. Funny enough, you can actually unlock TT as a character if you get if you manage to beat his time trial ghost in every single one of the tracks. He's easily the best racer in the game with like max stats and everything. Alright, so our first race is at Ancient Lake. Alright, so it plays pretty similarly to uh, Mario Kart. Instead of coins, you collect bananas to raise your top speed. I think it caps out at 10. The balloons are your power-ups. Red ones are missiles, blue ones are boosters. But what's interesting is that you can build up your power-ups to different levels if you co keep collecting the same type. So right now it's at the base level. I missed that one too. But at least we're at max speed now. While we're at it, there's a key over here. Uh, 
Uh, perhaps we should try that again. Main thing was to get the key. I forgot Banjo's turning isn't the best. Now, you can find the one key in each one of the hub worlds and it unlocks the locked door in the hub. We'll do it later, though. For now, we want to focus on the race. So if you press A just before Go goes appears on the screen, you'll get a boost, which will propel you off of the starting line. These things are called zippers. It's a weird name, but that's what they are. If you let go of the accelerator button just before you hit a zipper, you'll get an even more powerful boost. The same goes for the booster power-up as well. And I'm gonna have to get used to controlling Ban- with Banjo's turning, or I'm not gonna do very well later on. Just missed the dinosaur there. And we win. Hooray! This is for you. So each time you complete a race in first place, you get another balloon. At least for the at least the first time. Right, up next is Fossil Canyon. Fossil Canyon. Nice try, Diddy. So the green balloons drop these, like, things that you can drop behind you, like an oil spill. The red ones fire rockets. The, the second level of the red balloons fires a, hom a homing rocket. our lead. So the second level green balloon drops a spiked bomb. And then the third third level is a bubble, which will trap a player in it. I've never been a big fan of the green balloons. And just try to drop oil spills on the zippers. Prevent other racers from using it. I'm just a jerk like that. Power up. Power up. Yeah, the third tier of the red balloons is multi-missiles. So you can have up to ten at once. Alright, and we got this race in the bag. That animation's the same every time, so we don't always have to watch it. Jungle Falls is next. Didn't mean to fall off the bridge. Now 
that's a barrier, which will protect you from projectiles or other various weapons from other racers for a short period of time. The higher the level, the longer the shield lasts. switch from a cart to a plane. So far, I think they're just trying to find bananas at this point. Uh oh, ow. Also, when you get hit by a, a, another racer's weapon, you lose some of your bananas as well. highest level of boost we could get there. Alright, we win. And now that we've completed all of the races in this area, it's time to face the boss. Go. Hello there, Triceratops. This isn't going well. Hopefully, it should go better. 
think there might have been a shortcut right there. Like hidden inside a bush on the, on the side of the mountain. I'm not 100% certain of that. There we go, we win. We had a pretty good lead on him, too. Try pressing brake when skidding. Gee, I never would have thought of that. <laughs> 